Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are comparing virtual machines to containers. So I know we covered this prior, but I just want to do it one more time just to make sure that we fundamentally understand the difference before we jump into containers. So the idea is that if you were to request an EC2 instance, it has a host operating system that we don't really know much about, but we don't really need to know. Uh, and then the idea is you have a hypervisor, which allows you to deploy virtual machines. And so when you launch an EC2 instance, you're actually launching a VM on top of a hypervisor on a server uh, with on, uh, within the AWS uh, data centers servers there. And you're gonna choose an operating system, so like Ubuntu, and it might come with some pre-installed packages or you're gonna install your own libraries, packages, and binaries. And then you're gonna decide what kind of workloads you wanna run on there. So it could be Django, uh, MongoDB, so your database, and some kind of queuing system like RabbitMQ. But the uh, difficulties with virtual machines, you're always gonna end up with some unused space because you're gonna wanna have some headroom uh, to make sure that uh, you know if you know Django needs more memory or, or MongoDB needs more uh, storage, that you have that room that you can grow into. But the idea is that you're always paying for that even when you're not utilizing it. And so you know that can be uh, not as cost effective as you'd like it to be. So when we're looking at um, doing this again, and we are l using containers, um, instead of the hypervisor, we have container virtualization. A very common one would be called Docker Daemon for Docker, of course. And so now you're launching containers. And so maybe you have Alpine, and this is for your web app. And then you install exactly the libraries, packages, and binaries you need for that. And then for uh, MongoDB, you want to have a different OS, different packages. And same thing with RabbitMQ, maybe you want to run it on FreeBSD. And the idea is that, uh, you know, you're not going to have this waste because it, it's kind of changed the sense that these containers are flexible so they can expand or decrease based on the, the, need, the use case of what they need. Uh, and, you know, if you use particular services like AWS Fargate, you know, you're paying like for running the containers, not necessarily uh, for uh, over provisioning. OK, so. VMs do not make best use of space. Apps are not isolated, which could cause co uh, config conflict, security problems, or resource hogging. Containers allow you to run multiple apps, which are virtually isolated from each other. Launch new containers, configure OS uh, dependencies per container. Okay.